Okay, so a four digit combo lock with repetition. All right, so now with repetition, our formula is n to the r. So we have to remember we have zero to nine. That's our number of digits to choose from. Okay, and we're doing a four combo lock. So our n is 10 because we have 10 digits to choose from and our r is four. So 10 to the fourth power. That's or just 10 with four zeros. So that would be 10,000. So there are 10,000 different combinations if repetition is allowed for a four digit combo. Now remember, we can still do FCP, one, two, three, four, I'm choosing four times. Because repetition is allowed, I have 10 choices each time, still get the same answer. Let's elaborate this a little bit. Without repetition, same idea, all right? But now, repetition is not allowed. So my n is still 10. My r is still 4. n factorial over n minus r factorial. 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial becomes 10 factorial over 6 factorial. 6 to 1 goes away on the bottom. 6 to 1 goes away on the top. So that means I'm left with 10, 9, 8, 7. And if you remember, guys, if I was doing the FCP, I have, for my first one, I have 10 numbers to choose from, but repetition is not allowed. So I have one less choice each time. It's the same exact thing. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is 5,040 different options. All right. Just another problem. In how many ways can the letters of the word today be arranged? Now, this is a problem that you probably could use the FCP or you could choose to use the formula. Again, guys, it's gonna be up to you. So the first thing we have to think about is how many things do we have to choose from? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five letters. So we have five letters to choose from, and we're actually choosing five times. All right, so, because we have to use every single letter. That's why we have to choose five times. So I have five factorial over five minus five factorial, which ends up being five factorial over zero factorial. Now, zero factorial is equal to one. It's not zero, all right? That's very important to understand. So this ends up being just a five factorial problem. Five times four times three times two times one. That gives us 120. Now if I was using the FCP, one, two, three, four, five. I have five options for my first letter, but then I only have four because I've already used a letter. 3, 2, 1. Notice that's 5 factorial. Same answer is over there. Okay. Final problem. How many ways can 10 runners finish first through fourth? So we have 10 runners to choose from. If we're choosing first through fourth, that means we're choosing four times. Okay. Another way is you could do 10 runners, 9 runners, 8 runners, 7 runners. But again, just to show you how the formula works. 10 factorial over 6 factorial. And once again, we're left with 10, 9, 8, 7. So again, 5,040 different ways that runners can come in first through fourth, and we don't care about anything after fourth place. Okay. 
Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to try to get a video up for you on how to use to do factorials with a calculator.